There's actual steps involved if you're going to give good, helpful feedback. And that's why I'm here. All right, welcome to another Jed Said Therapy video where a little awareness goes a long way. My name is Jed Thorpe, licensed therapist, and today I've got to tell you, I did something online. I did something online. Anyway, a feedback was given and, and uh, you know, f uh, cri constructive criticism was, was there, uh, but really it wasn't. So let's just get into what healthy feedback is and right away you have to define what criticism is criticism it's critiquing it's finding out what's not right with the behaviors with the past with what with what's been done with how you've done things whereas feedback is more open to hey let's figure out how we can do this better in the future and there's actual steps to healthy feedback, communication. Only four steps, and we'll go over them directly. First one is, uh, remember, if there's some kind of conflict and you're in a communication, it's not easy for the person that's getting the feedback, and it's also not easy for the person giving the feedback. So right away, this is unstable territory, and your brain's main job is to keep you safe from any physical harm, for any emotional discomfort. So it's no wonder people don't know how to do this well. It's no wonder that we've tried to do it online where it can't be done effectively. And here's, here's, here's why it can't be done effectively. The first step is called uh, the micro yes. You have to ask if someone is open to feedback. If you're working with somebody, some weird thing happens, and you're like, oh, that was kind of weird. If someone were to come to you, they would have to open that up with a question. Hey, are you okay to talk about what happened back then? You know, there's a, a question that has to be instigated, and then there has to be an acceptance of this this uh, direction that we're going in the communication. Are you open to talking about what just happened there? If the answer is yes, then you're on this playing field of where we can proceed to have some kind of healthy feedback communication happen. You know what I mean? So that's the first step. If you don't have this, then right away you're going to run into someone who's going to be defensive. Either, well, they might be defensive or they might retreat because fight, flight, or freeze comes in to take place. Or they might just like, uh, I'm not really gonna, gonna um, this is out of the blue. I don't, I don't even know what's, what's going on. I was not expecting this. And I was not in the decision to proceed with this communication. <laughs> so right away, step number one, it's called the micro yes. And uh, if someone's not on board right there, then you cannot have a healthy feedback conversation. It won't happen. So assuming that, yeah, well, I'm okay with that. Let's, let's discuss, yeah, well, what is going on? Let's, let's talk about it. There's your yes, they're on board. Next, we can go to stage two. And that's where you gotta be specific in what uh, behavioral or instance that was negative uh, took place. To be good at this constructive and helpful feedback, you've got to be specific. Otherwise, you know, you're throwing a bunch of vagueness in there. And remember, the brain's just trying to figure out what's going on. It's trying to explain things and keep you safe. And if it's not specific, you're, it's too open for suggestions, too open for interpretation. And uh, that's not really stable. <laughs> and also, it has to be something that is objective. It's not a perception. It's something that you can identify, an object that you can see. So the, the term they have for this is avoid blur words. So number one, get the micro yes. Get the willingness to move forward in this feedback communication. Number two, avoid the vague. Don't use blur words and be specific. Be specific. Number three is it's good to show impact as to how the behavior, how it affected the rest of, you know, the team or the family or, you know, the relationship on some level. It's not subjective, it's 
objective, it's specific. I love this. So we're going to roll right on through to the very last step. There's only four steps in this helpful feedback uh, communication. Next one, last one is end with a question. And you remember how you started with a question? This is a little bit of a chiasmus. If you're into poetry, you started with your question, you're ending with the question. You got compliance right from the get-go and alignment, you're ending with alignment. Say, uh, and uh, by the way, avoid the close in it. Did you like that? You know, don't, don't do a yes or no question. Look for an open-ended question. How do you think that went? What do you think we could do better in the future? You know, it opens up a dialogue and again will realign the person that you're trying to uh, build a better relationship with. It'll realign you two. You guys are on a team. It's not as a, a do this or else. Remember, uh, how do I say this? Criticism is not helpful, it's not good. It's, uh, hey, I don't like what you did. You need to do it better. It focuses on the past. Feedback is looking to the future. And that's why I don't think really there's any such thing as a constructive feedback that can be done online because you're typing. It's not spontaneous. You don't have the oxytocin connection going on. It's, it's being perceived by others, you know, so it's just not genuine. That said, I don't, care unless you're how about this i mean i care uh but it does not ruin my day if you don't like what i put online if you don't uh, if this isn't helpful for you don't subscribe just don't follow me i'm not going to allow someone to come and poo poo all over what I'm trying to give message wise, which is message wise, which is being strong, empowering you. It's it's opposite of what our culture has been teaching for the last long time, by the way, well, at least decade. It's the opposite of that. And I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. If you're not okay with that, by all means, uh, you don't have to follow me. You don't have to. If you do choose to follow me, and if I say, hey, what do you think about this? I will expect that there be some boundaries within the, the discussion if we're gonna do it via text, or I'm gonna say, let's go to lunch and we'll work through this. We'll have, well, I'm great at resolving conflict. I've been doing it for years. And, uh, and actually it's kind of fun for me. So if we wanna resolve conflict, let's not do it over this shenanigans of social media. I'm just throwing stuff out for you, people to think about. And that said, you should check out the blog that I put on this. That's found on www.meaningtolive.com. I think you're going to dig this. And I hope that in the future, I hope in the future, we can have even better communication around resolving any conflict that you might feel in regards to what I put online. And that is the Jed Said for today. And until next time, awareness up.